we have left Skakuza and are heading to Pretorius Kop. That's 49 kilometers. According to the map that we've got here, it says 49.3 kilometers. Correct. So that's where we are going. And that's where we are going to have the best chance to see rhino oceruses. <laughs> and you know what? I so hope you and I don't chase any specific animal, yeah. but I really am very keen for you to see a rhino. I love a rhino. It's my favorite animal. And my favorite are leopard and elephant, and I have seen both now multiple times. Yes. So you really deserve to see a rhino. So if we can see a rhino, then your wish list is almost complete. Almost complete. Then there's one left at the moment there's two missing it's the rhino and the other one is the cheetah okay yes we'd love to see cheetah <laughs> yes. still as well exactly so in the distance there hanging in the tree you see those two little things hanging off of the branch that's a leopard's feet i'll insert a picture that i took that i zoomed in it's not very clear but you'll be able to make out that it is a leopard hanging in the tree there someone told us it's there and it literally took us Ten, Ten minutes, minutes yeah. to find there, the it. The feet are moving. There, they just moved now. I refuse to believe it until <laughs> I saw the picture. <laughs> we are traveling in the rain once again in the Kruger National Park. But we're not camping tonight. Oh, <laughs> Mate Kenyane viewpoint. I remember this place. Yes, so do I. What do you remember? That we came here on a night drive, didn't we? Yes. And we stopped up top for a sundown. Yes. But I have seen pictures of this place where there are lions lying on this rock. Oh, I have no doubt. Whether they will lie there in the rain today remains to be seen. Yes. Yes, I remember yeah, it so clearly. Brilliant. It was so nice to sit here with the sundown, eh? Yes. What an incredible rock this is. Yeah, massive. Stunning view as well. Mm, beautiful. Game drive vehicle still parked on this rock. On the slab, yeah, yeah. Sure. What a great spot. Transport Dam, we remember that name. Definitely remember the name, but I can't quite place it. Yeah. Let's go and investigate. Transport Dam. 
What do you remember here? I remember kudus on the other side there shoving their horns into the mud and the ranger told us that they they suspect it's to get the shine off of the horns. I don't know. What so that they're less Visible, obvious? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I don't remember that. Do you remember another thing about this dam? That an impala came running, something was chasing this impala and it swam across. I remember that, but I can't tell you that it's here. Sure it was here. Yeah, so many memories. Let's go park that side. This beautiful bird. Yeah, it's a, looks like L a heron. Let me find it. Yes. Are there any hippos? I don't see, but there must be, yeah. Could it be this one? Grey heron. Yes. Yes, it's a grey heron. Does it have a yellowish beak? Yes. yes. To me it looks like a grey heron. Yeah. A young male. He's very young. His horns have still got a way to go. They start off straight, eh? Yeah. That's interesting. Very. So he was sitting here in this little bed. Bottom, yeah. Yeah, and now I see the fish moving in this little bit of water. It looks like a barbel. I think they're a bit big for him. Is that enough water for them, though? Yes. If I'm correct enough, I think barbel can go into the mud and go into some type of hibernation until the next rain comes. And survive? Yeah. A fish with gills? I don't know how it works, my angel. I think I read that somewhere. Okay. They're they lively in the rain, eh? Hey? Playing. Look at them. They climb on top of each other, over each other. Even over the big one as well. Bye. So cute. Oh, they're two little ones. Yes. So much energy. Look at that. <laughs> Check, as soon as the one got a fright, they both go lie down. Did you see that? I saw that. So one guy has enormous, enormous tusks. Look at that. They must be the longest ones we've seen this time. For sure. Yeah, oh, look at that. Incredible animals. Yeah. Look how tall he is. Mm. And how proud. Look at that. Oh. Look at this guy's dust now. There's a third one, did you see? No, I didn't even see that one. Yeah, he's got beautiful tusks. Oh. 
youngish one this. Oh, he's still got a ways to go, but that's good. He's joined the older guys. He's in excellent company. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Drinking water in the road. Oh, I just love it. He's a bit fed up with yeah. us. Oh, he's skimming the water from the road. Ah. Hammer kop. He's chasing insects. The thunder continues. Yep. I think there's flying ants. Because Good. of the rain? Yes. Nappy boulder. We're going to take the gravel road now and see how we can cope with the gravel in the rain. Looks fine. It does look fine. The moment it doesn't look fine anymore, we make a 180. No, so here we are at the Nappy boulder. Yo. I don't know what Napi means. As long as they stay up there where there's rain and don't come down. Oh, let us see that there's something written there. I don't know how one's supposed to read that. Okay. Where? You can maybe zoom in on your way down. Okay. It's against this boulder. Okay. Looks like a granite clock. Oh, this is, I'll have to turn around and come back. Yeah, we'd like to see that. Those rocks at the top there, I wonder how they got up there. <laughs> the most important thing is that they remain up there. Yep. I wonder if there was a fire after this tree fell down. I think so. But yet it's still growing, eh? Isn't this yes. one of those leadwoods? They say if there's one root in the ground, the leadwood will continue growing. Really? And it's the, there's still green leaves on it. You'll have a look. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. That's incredible. Yeah, they say it's uh, very... They compare ranges to leadwoods. They just continue growing. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. There are loads of these little frogs on the road now that it rains. Look at the line across the back. Yep. Shitlave Dam. Now tell me, is this not one of the places we saw Sable? Whoa, it's possible. Sure. Because we've forgotten about Sable. We're in the area where we could possibly spot Sable. Yes. Oh, they're beautiful. Sable. Stunning animals. Shitlave! Oh. <laughs> Not there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew there was a turn in somewhere to get closer. They are in Tala. Oh. They are hippos. Oh, it's cool. Take a stroll on the bank here for me. Who, me? No. Oh, I was just going to say, I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> a hippo or two. Yeah, that would be nice. They could come graze now, lack of yes. without the sun burning them. Feel free. Now is a fantastic time. 
I remember she told me. I don't know if it'll come across so well on form, but he's sopping wet, eh? Sopping wet. Oh, now you can see he's wet. He's nice and full bodied, hey? Yeah. Wow. I know he's, there can only be food in that tummy. He's a good looking buck. He is. Very handsome. If it's possible, the blue is even bluer. In this weather. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at those red little things hanging off of its face. Yes. <laughs> they like earrings. earrings. Yes. yes. Beautiful. Food tracker road. It sounds way too interesting to drive by. Definitely. I don't remember that name. No. Oh, it's so green after the rain, eh? Mm. Just as if the rain has washed everything clean. And it has. So lush here, yeah, hey? Yeah. So we're going to take this loop, which is one kilometer long. There between the branches is a taker. You just see the big eye. Oh, look there. <laughs> And the dark line between the eyes. Yeah, down, down to the, the nose. nose yeah. yes. Check it out. A lot of water fell today. Mm. Welcome to Pretorius Kop. And they have sable antelope. See, this looks like a different entrance yeah. to me. It's the same place, but I think it only had those sleepers. Yes. Those wooden pillars. Interesting. Those, there's Pretorius Cop, the old name. I think they yeah. were there before, yeah. Look at the cute little guardhouse. <laughs> Good heavens. With its own thatch roof. They have a sable on their key box too. A sable on their key box? Yes. Yes, reception. I remember it being here. Okay. They also had a fire here at one stage. The shop or restaurant burnt down. Mm, I, I don't remember that. I remember that. On our way to Hut 58. Yeah, we go past the filling station they say. Look at the filling station's cute hut. Yes. <laughs> Campsites. Monkeys. Look at oh, the monkeys. Yes. Can you go back quickly? There's a tiny baby monkey babe. In the tree. No. Check at the ears. Look at the little hands. Oh. Looks up to the thunder.
Revolutions and this is 57. Oh, so it's a dormitory style again. I wonder why they give us these when I don't book them. I have no idea. In the past we had a, a single little one like oh. these. Let's check out the room. <laughs> So there'll be nobody staying here because they're working on the roof. Let's see this. What was it? Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Got a little basin here. No cutlery. Fridge. Table. Just brought Sonia into our little hut and it's pouring with rain. So as you could see, I made a mistake. It's not 58, it's number 57 we are in. Yeah. The heavens have opened up. Circle Road. S8. Yep. Um, interesting what's happening at Pretorius Cop camp is that um, they haven't had electricity since yesterday and they've been running on their backup generator so they turned off their backup generator to save it because it's been working so hard now for nearly a full on day that they're only going to turn it back on at 5 again so the restaurant's closed, the cafeteria's closed. The only place that's open is the shop and it's pitch dark in there. You've got to walk around with your light from your cell phone to be able to see what you buy. And they're struggling with signal to make purchases and stuff. So they're going through a bit of a difficult time. And they say it's because of ESCOM that their power's off. So I wonder, something must have gone wrong with the line somewhere. So we ran away and we out on a drive again. Yes. <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> ESCOM doesn't affect us here. No, when we're driving. Now we're heading to Numbi Gate. Yeah, I was quite surprised to hear on the news, maybe a week or two before we came, that uh, tourists are discouraged from using Numbi Gate to enter. Yes. Because of the, the danger involved. No. It's quite sad, eh? On our way to Numbi Gate, we saw the day visitor area. This is new that the divers at the areas are not in the camps anymore. Yes, definitely. Pretorius Cop Day Visitors. A light from vehicle at own risk. I think since the introduction of the wild card, folks come in just for the day yes. and I think flooded the camps. You know, yeah. that's why separate areas were created for them. That's my thought. I sit there under roof. Yeah. Picnic tables. I can't see any brise. Doesn't look like there are brise that I can see. I'll just get out and then have a look. It is drizzling at the moment, so I won't be able to go far. Kiosk, 
kitchen area. Oh, yeah, oh, look, picnic tables. I wonder when last this place was used. If you look there under that tree are picnic tables, but the grass is so long. I don't know. Even there, back in that bush over there, you can see picnic tables right at the back there. Now, I don't know if this still operates. So there's a question mark for me about whether this is still functional. Yeah, I said exactly the same. I don't know. This is an electrified gate situation and it's left open. It's standing so wide open and there's nobody here. Even this little kitchen door is wide open here. Yeah, I don't know about this place. It's so overgrown. These tables far in and they're totally overgrown with bushes and things. So I It's do as if do. nobody comes through to here anymore from Numbi Gate, it looks like. You well, that would make sense. Yeah. That would make sense. Because it, it was on a national radio station that they cautioned folks against Numbi Gate. Yes. So most folks would eat that warning. I just don't like seeing that in the park. No, you know? neither, neither do I. So interesting, Pabeni Gate's only 20 kilometers up here and I think we've traveled about another 4 k's from uh, Pretorius Corp. No, 3 k's from Pretorius Corp. So you can see Pretorius Corp 3 on that side and Pabeni Gate 20. So it's 23 kilometers from Pabeni Gate to get here to Pretoria Skop. So there is an alternative route instead of taking Numbi. And only 43 from Paul Kruger. Yeah. But obviously only 8 from Numbi, which would have been the obvious choice. But there are still alternatives. Yeah, definitely. Glad to see that. According to legend, Pretoria Skop was named after a member of Karl Trichard's expedition. Willem Pretorius, who died and was buried here circa 1845 by Albacini. Wow! There's Albacini again. Yeah. So yeah, we are approaching Numbi Gate. selling curios yes. and artwork here. That's interesting. Very. Oh, beautiful here. Yeah. Oh, it is. What does that say? Is that Jock? Jock of the bush fell. Yes. Jock Trek 1885. Jock of the bush fell. He had Steffi in him, eh? I think he was a cross, yeah. a staffy cross somehow. Yes. And he was, um, as everyone most probably knows, the um, the dog of Sir James Percy Fitzpatrick. Yes. And he based his book on him, so his book was a true story. A legend, this dog, eh? Yeah. 
all their adventures. I know folks can also follow in Jock's footsteps. There are several of these, I think, in yeah. the area. Yeah. Numbi Gate. Numbi Gate. Curious? Yes, I find it encouraging that they still sell their ways. Yeah. It's still a bus. Yeah. And these two operators. So Okay. And they international tourists. Yes, that's for sure. It's good to see. I'm glad we came. Numbi Gate still looks active. I mean on a day like this a bus and two two operators. That's brilliant. Oh. There's a hyena in the road. A hyena spotters on point. She is looking for something. Worries. So I was actually in the mood for a, t a toasted sandwich this afternoon. Okay. But um, seeing the electricity situation as it is, chips and peanuts and raisins will have to do. <laughs> We're going to make do with what we can, eh? Yes. Let's hope the power comes on when they say it's going to come on. So I've got my movie snacks. I'm ready for the sightings. Yes, let's do it. This gentleman only has one horn. Looks totally different, eh? No, and it's totally off, eh? Yeah. I'm gonna try and look it up. He just flew off now, but it's the lesser spotted eagle. Yes, the Madla Bantu Adventure Trail. Reservations at Pretorius Copper Rest Camp. Hey, they must be enjoying this weather, eh? I'm sure they love him every moment. Wait for him to flap his ears. Throwing the sand over you. You're eating it too. He's already good and and wet so oh! You hear that trunk slap every time. Yeah. Brilliant. Having so much fun. <laughs> Elephants with little ones. Oh, hold on. Look at that. 
also looking for mud. Yes. It's also a youngish one, eh? Yeah. Oh, but there are many here, I think. Yes. <laughs> Chasing us, this one at the back. Why is chasing us? Garlic potatoes with cheese grillers. That's a lot of food, so we're definitely gonna have pot course tomorrow. Ah, that garlic potato smells absolutely delicious. Well, our tummies are full after the cheese grillers and the garlic potatoes. We had a fantastic discussion with two young guys who live in Palaboa, who are, love the Kruger National Park. It was so nice to speak to young people who enjoy the park as much as what they do, who love it as much as what we do. So that was, that was a good time we had. Uh, it's time for us to hit the sack. But I just want to ask you that if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Slight little drizzle and then it starts harder. But yeah, we're right at the boundary fence. Look at this, eh? In Pretorius Cop. Campsites over there. Yeah, I was going to take a drive through the campsites and have a quick squiz. There hasn't been any break in the rain. No. It's a small campsite. Do you think this is all the campsites though? I don't know. It's very small, eh? Yeah. Must be more, I'm sure there must be more. Nice trees, so can get nice shade here. Yeah. And fairly close to the ablution block. Yeah, there it is across the road. So when we were here last, we also stayed in a hut. But it was a little self-contained hut. Yes. Now we were there in the dormitory style. These are new. Yeah, this I don't remember at all. They're the cutest dents. Look how small these are, eh? But they have a deck. <gasps> Do you think these can be booked? I'm sure. Or they're not completed yet. Or they for like groups. Yeah, I don't know what they're for. Yeah. This is quite interesting, eh? I'm thinking this is for groups, eh? Must be. Because this looks like an undercover kitchen area. Okay. I like it. So these are the bigger bungalows like that one that has their own bathroom. Yes. But yes, similar to where we stay. We, yes. Yeah. And then this is the ones with no bathroom. You oh, can clearly okay. see the difference in size. And this one's got a bathroom, yeah. Looks like there are two attached there. Yes. Oh, only one. I don't know. Could be a big one. There's a kitchen. Kitchen started all over, which makes it convenient. Yeah. We just walked across the road to cook our food last night. Yeah, it was quite nice. It was quite a social experience. Eh? <laughs> it was. I enjoyed that about the park. Yes. Okay, a bit more activity here this morning. Yes. This is here by the shop. I'm going to go there now. I just want to see if the restaurant's open to order some takeaways. A play area for the children. How's the wimpy? I've got a wimpy here, yeah, that's cool. Hi there. How are you? 
This is nice. I didn't know you got a wimpy here. So I've ordered a toasted chicken and mayo on brown bread with salad for Sonny and myself a bacon and egg with chips on white bread. So it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. Just take a walk. Hey, look, there is a wagon. How neat is this wagon? Goodness me. Wow, I love this. And that it's got its own little thatched roof to protect it from the elements. That's in excellent nick. Today the lights are on. Thank goodness. Pretorius Cop Park Shop. Two hundred and eighty rand. This is not a bad price. That's pretty. Sure. Eight hundred and twenty rand. Jock of the bush felt. Oh, the crater for the a lot of little dolls and stuff, animals. That's fantastic. A nursery.
So this is Sonny's chicken mayo on brown bread, toasted. And this is my bacon and egg on white bread, also toasted. I was quite surprised to see a wimpy here. Yeah, that's, I didn't expect that. No. Okay. Yeah, I look forward to the toasted sandwich. I was in the mood since yesterday. Yes. It's a pity they were closed yesterday, right? Eh? Yeah, yeah, electricity. We can't wait, so we're here at the filling station at Pretoria Scorp. Starving. So. <laughs> oh, you also? As usual. <laughs> <laughs> what is this on? Bacon and egg? Mm -hmm. No cheese? Mm -mm. Okay. What more can I say? It's a bacon and egg toasted sandwich. Okay. Stunning. It tastes good. Mm, very good. All those. That's all that matters. It's a good combo. Okay, so as soon as we're done here, we're hitting the road. Mm -hmm. Right. I just thought I'd fill up with fuel just before we hit the road, but I just there's a few places I want to go and check out. Where In Campstall? Yes. Okay. There's not a few, just one more actually. Yesterday when I looked up Harry Voliter's story, you remember? Yes, You're One yes. of the park's uh, first rangers. Yes. I also happened upon this little interesting bit. That um, where he stayed, his camp was called Voliter's Hut. Yeah. And Pretoria Scorp is the closest rest camp oh. to that location. And they say here, an interesting feature of Pretoria Scorp is that it is the only camp allowed to break the park's rigid indigenous trees only rule in the days before Kruger's complex set of rules and regulations were established Pretoria Scorp was part of the local rangers garden wow. the red flamboyants and purple bougainvilliers he introduced bloomed so proudly that modern day rangers believed they should remain in place for the sake of history and nostalgia wow that's brilliant that's I fantastic. I thought that was quite unusual, yeah. yes. I can remember us staying in this area, but I can't remember what number in the past. But I remember these were cute little huts. These I little, love tiny these. Tiny little ones. And this is one I thought I booked. But I don't know the codes and yes, stuff. Yes, yes. I was hoping to get one of these little ones. And they are cute, man. I love them. Yes, I think they have two beds only. Yes. Okay, so here you can drive right up to the restaurant. Yes, look at that. All right. It won't be. Okay. The Voliter Hut, built in 1930. This is one of the original huts built to provide accommodation, known as a Selby Hut. This particular one was named after Harry Voliter, one of the first rangers appointed by Stevenson Hamilton. Yeah. I wonder if I can go in. Oh, it's locked. It's so dark inside, you can't see anything. Okay, so let's go and see what else we can see outside of Pretoria's Cop. We're late today. Here we are. Five to nine. But we had such a nice chat to a couple this morning. <laughs> we just couldn't get away. Yeah, no, um, Pretoria Scorp was quite the social experience. Yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> we loved it. Yeah. But it's nice to see there where we drove through now that some of the, the little huts are being fixed, new thatch, new um, wire on the yes. thatch. It seems like they, they, they're starting from one side and fixing things up in it. Yeah, so. yeah some of the thatch definitely need work yes. on uh, some of the accommodation units, even our little Unit. building. They, yes. They're busy working on that. Yes. So. Yeah, I saw the danger tape. So it's good to see that they, they're working on it. Yeah, always encourages yeah. me. 
There are buffalo in the road. seen buffalo in a few days. Yes. This one is big to me. These are two bulls, eh? Oh, there's more. Isn't this a gash on his left hind leg? I can't see. No, I don't see anything. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but he's big, eh? So what's interesting is that I read there was that wagon in Pretorius Corp that um, Jocko the Bushveld was born on Voortrekker Road. They give the exact coordinates where he was born in 1885. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's actually the H22 that he was born on and it's called Four Tracker Road. And he was a legend. Yes, I used to love reading his book when I was a kid. And we wanted to take that road, but we um, a little hesitant after all the rain. Yeah, so we're sticking to tar today. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I see all the... They were, we spoke to someone this morning who also said they won't take chances with their, with their vehicle and they've got a bucky. Yes. They won't do it. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, just Jocko the Bushveld. I, um, I want to really get that book and read it again. Again. <laughs> so Percy Fitzpatrick. He's washing. Yeah. <laughs> he's not eating. No, he's just rubbing his head in the bush. The camel horse stands motionless. <laughs> this is on the S65. We're not taking this road. It's a gravel road and in the opposite direction of where we headed. But this is a very interesting sign that says, from points along this road, you may glimpse a research tower. It is part of a collaborative scientific study between the KNP, NASA, CSIR, and several universities. It is used to test satellite images of the Earth's surface and measure the exchange of carbon, water and energy between the land and the atmosphere. The understanding gained will assist society to better deal with the many aspects of global climate change also in natural systems. Wow. Very interesting. Very interesting, eh? And this is the road. Yeah. So that was an enjoyable visit to Pretorius Corp over and done with. As we drive past these big rocks and boulders where we've seen Clip Springer so many times in yes. the past, but didn't this time around. And not today. We shall see you on our way to the next camp.